हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन आ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एप एंड ऑफ एंड्रॉयड सीरीज टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एक्स एम यू वाई ई प्रो अर्लियर वर्जन ऑफ दिस एक्स मी एक्स एम ई वाई ई बट कम कंपनी मेक एन न्यू एप एक्स एम ई वाई ई प्रो सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज एक्स एम ई वाई प्रो फॉर पी सी वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन then we'll tell you that how you configure this app to make the camera live how you download install this app and how you config configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start what is xme xmeye pro for android tv app actually is basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on android tv screen this is a app for monitoring the cctv cameras on the on your tv screen or it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera as far as function and feature is confirmed so not you can not only see the live view of the camera but you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc to take a back of the recorded videos and many more now for downloading and installations let's comes on the screen first here is our screen so now what what we should do we should open the apps and open the google play store just click open it google play store and search for file manager and here is your file manager just open it and click on install i already install that's why you showing the option uninstall otherwise you are opening in first time you find the option install after installation just click on open when you open this interface look like this one okay just close the file manager and now what 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 should we do we should google it for xmui pro apk and set orientation apk and i make a separate video on how to download install set orientation apk and i will give link in the description you can watch that video if you if you are not able to find such orientation after after downloading just copy into pen drive and insert your pen drive in your android tv and op- also optical mouse when you installed it it already you open in a, in a file manager plus okay otherwise you should open if it is not open here you if see that scan usb drive detected now just click on setting and go to the apps and go on see all app file manager and click open when you open it here is, is your interface now here is my pen drive just open my pen drive i downloaded two file xmyy pro and set orientation apk what we should do we should install set orientation apk first I already install it. That's why it is. It give me this option. Just click new and click install. After installation, just click open and just click on the landscape and click OK. When you click OK. what you should do it is it open the app in a landscape mode otherwise by default it's opening portrait mode which is very difficult to handle and operate okay now install xme xmeye pro now click install it takes time let the solution to be finished 
then we'll tell you after that there are two important settings now we'll tell you after that we'll tell you that how to configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end again please like your video and subscribe to our channel now it is open what you should do you should not click on open just click done and just close it and click on the setting and click on the device preferences and now click security in the restrictions and just click enable verify apps and click unknown source and otherwise if, if you see xmi pro option here just allow it okay otherwise your apps is not going to be open now again go to the setting and go to the apps and see all apps click and now search for xmy pro here it is just open it and just give just uh, scroll down and go to the permission option over there you should give permission to all especially the locations because if you don't do this your app is stuck in stuck in between it is and it is not going to be open now just click open click i agree now here you should find the option of login you can login it by your own because i make a video just for you to training purpose just for to guide you so you can sign up from here and you can log in from here i just click on the local and click agree and here you find lot of option okay that here you find the scan option basically this is used when you log in your device means dvr and vr and go to the network option and over there you just go to the setting information tab and over there you find cloud id and qr code if someone send you the qr code or you are in front of the device then you and just copy that qr code in the pen drive and just click on the this one mobile storage and here you pen drive is open just give access and it is automatically detected okay otherwise just click on this top right corner plus button here you find lot of thing like wired camera wifi wifi camera and vr so in in my case we have an vr just click on nvr and here you find two option like serial number and ip okay so if you want to connect locally means by using a local ip address just log in your device and go to the network option over there you should find ip address port number username and password you can you can put any device name ip you log in the device and go to network and over there you find the ip option again port number in the same network option you find the port number and username and, and password is of the device device means dvr and vr whatever you are, you are adding okay and if you are if bus but the main problem is that you only access maybe within your premises or with within the your wifi range because when you want to, when you connect with the local ip address you are able, then you are view, then you view the camera only on the premises and only when you connected with the wifi and if you want to remotely access any device just click serial number over there you should find device name you can put anything if you are installing the home camera just put home if you are installing the factory camera just push just press press factory or anything which can easily remember and easily recognize okay i just put test device or test and now go to the serial number again log in your device and go to setting and go to the information tab where there you find the cloud id and also a serial number okay now i just use serial number for that you should use tv remote
now it is asking for username and password so please don't be confused here it is the username and password of the device device means dvr and vr whatever you are adding and now here it asks for a password again it is the password of the device device means dvr nvr whatever you are adding now just click okay you see that your device comes online just click on that and you see that camera comes online okay so in this way you can add your device and watch your camera just back it and here you find the setting option device name password management time synchronizations advanced setting when you click on the advanced setting here you find the storage management okay currently uh, we don't have hard disk and even you can check the hard disk here you find the network setting like ip address and the uh, gateway and all the things you can manage from here whether the mac address also and you can restart the device even you can change the password from here so you can do all the things from here okay you can even change the device name like test i put the test one here okay and here you can edit the device again even you can delete delete the device and again just click on the channel management and click on the camera you scroll down this camera by using this option so that's all about this video thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day one more thing i would like to discuss you with, with you when you click on here and after device you find the mobile profile here means system setting or all the if you log in with the with the particular user you find the user here and here you find the mobile storage whatever that picture and screenshot you take you take it from here and just click on the device and so you can do it, it from here okay when you log in your device and click on the cam you find a lot of option like how to take a screenshot and how if you if you want to record the video then recording option is also available if your camera speed is enabled all the icon comes on the screen okay so that's all you can do thanks for watching once again thank you thank you have a nice day